Um, hello, so today we are going to take a look at this problem called Split array in two consecutive sequences. This is part of today um, August data challenge um, So the problem says we get a numbers array Sorted in increasing order non decreasing order. So in it's increasing and we want to determine if it's possible to split it into one or more subsequences with these two conditions what are these conditions? The first one is that for each of these subsequences, we need the numbers to be consecutive. So each each one, um, the next one is the previous one plus one. So that would be something like one, two, three, four, um, or four, five, six, right? And all of these subsequences needs to have a length bigger or equal to three. So that those are the two co conditions: bigger or equal to three and consecutive sequence. And we want to return true if we can split the numbers array into cons uh, subsequences that have these two conditions. If it's not possible, we'll return false. So f if we take a look at this um, array here, we can do it by taking the first three as a subsequence, right? It's increasing um, uh, and consecutive, right? One plus one, two, two plus one, three. And it has a length of three, so it... it, it um, so the second condition is valid. Um, and then for the rest, we can also put it in another subsequence. So we end up with three, four, five, right? If we take a look at the second array, we could also do it by taking this as a subsequence, one, two, three, four, and then taking this three, this four, and this five. Um, and the condition would be valid. The first one is four elements, the second one is three, and each of them has a consecutive sequence. If we take a look at the last example here, we can do it, right? Because, well, even if we did like 1, 2, 3, 4, this sequence has length 2 less than 3, so this is not valid. Um, and we can't do another, like, we can't, like, take 4, 4, 5, because then it's not consecutive, right? So it's not possible with this example with return false. Okay, so now let's see how we can solve this problem. Um, okay, so let's see how we can solve this. Um, so the first thing to think about is... What if we had a sequence, let's say, maybe uh, one, three, four, and then we have a number five, so it's consecutive. Well, we definitely know that we can add it here, right? Now, what if we had um, one, three, four, and then maybe the number we are looking at is, let's say, seven, right? So we know that if we need to, we can place 7 here, but we need to have 7 plus 1 and 7 plus 2. 8, 9 f for the both conditions of consecutive increasing and um, length bigger or equal to 3 valid. If we don't find these two, that means immediately in the array, that means immediately we can return false because because we have a consecutive sequence that has a length less than 3. So this is the main thing we will take advantage of, is that if this element here is not part of a previous, previously constructed subsequence, then we need, to, we need to have in the array the two next element. If we don't, that means we can return false. And so this is kind of the greedy approach we can, we can follow. Um, and now it's just a matter of how do we concretely implement this. So we would get an array, let's say maybe 1, 3, 4, uh, 5, uh, let's say 9, 12 maybe, or something like this. This is just an example here. So we need to know the occurrences of these characters because, let's say for example, in one of the examples we have in the problem is 1, 2, uh, 3, 3. 4, 4, 5, 5. So each element we want to use it as many times as it occurred, right? Because we want to uh, get the the subsequences for the entire array. So this immediately tells us we need to have some sort of occurrences map that has the number of occurrences of each element. So we'd have 1 occurred 1, 2 occurred once, 3 occurs 2 times, 4 occurred 2 times, 5 occurred 2 times, right? So that's the, the idea there with the occurrences map. The other thing we need is what I said here, actually, right? I said when we have a 5, let's say this element is equal to x, x, we need to look if there is 
a subsequence that we already constructed that ends at x minus 1. If there is, then we get the, uh, this element in it. If there isn't, then we check if there is x plus 1 and x plus 2 in the array. Okay? It's easy to check if there is x plus 1 and x plus 2 because we can just check if occurrence of x plus 1 is bigger than 0. That means it exists. And if occurrence of 7 plus 2 exists, that's also easy to check. But for this here, notice what we are looking for. We are looking for if there is a subsequence ending at x minus 1. So this is for x when we are looking at x. So we, we can just have a map that counts for us how many subsequences we have that end at x minus 1 because let's say we had two here, th one, three, four, maybe the array has one, two times, three, two times, or maybe like, let's say two, four, something like this, uh, two, three, four. So let's say we have these two subsequences that we already created, right? So what we need to do is, let's say we have two, five. So we need to add the first one here, the second one here. How do we do that? Well, we need this to be, let's say, call it a sequence, a map, of x minus 1 needs to be a value of how many subsequences ending at x minus 1, um, how many we have, right? So this basically means that we need this map, sequence, basically such that sequence of x would mean the number, number of subsequences ending at x. This way, we can easily check if there is a subsequence ending at x minus 1. If there is, we can just check this by bigger than 0. If there is, then what do we do? So let's actually write that block down. So if there is a sequence of x minus 1 that is bigger than 0, what should we do in that case? Well, we want to add x to that sequence. So we'd have that sequence ending here at x minus 1. We want to add x. And let's say the then that means we no longer have, now we have a sequence and with like ending at x, so we no longer have a sequence ending at x minus 1, for this at least, for this one at least. So what we, this would mean is that we need to decrement the number of sequences ending at x minus 1, because we just extended one of them to be ending at x. And now, but we now have another subsequence ending at x, right? Because we just constructed one with this value x. And this, of course, would be um, for x in the numbers. And if once we use an x, we need to decrement it from our occurrences map so that we don't use it again, right? So that's also one thing we need to do. OK? And now, if it's not there, right, now we are in this case here that we mentioned where here, let's say we have 1, 3, 4, and we encounter 7. If we encounter 7, we need to have 8 and 9 in the uh, in the array to be able to construct another subsequence. But if we don't, let's say we don't have 9, but we have 10, 11, then we can immediately return false because we have a subsequence of length 2, which is less than the requirements of length at least 3, right? So here, that's exactly what we are going to do. If this is not valid, we need to have x plus 1 and x plus 2. Right, so for 7 we need to have 8 and 9, so for x we need to have x plus 1, x plus 2. Um, so else we need to check if, and how do we check that? We just check that occurrence of x plus 1 is bigger than 0, and the occurrence of x plus 2 is bigger than 0. If it is, that means we are going to use it. Right? And so we need to decrement since we used it. And then we used x plus 2, so we decrement that one too. But now we constructed a sequence ending at x plus 2, right? The sequence we are constructing here, if we had found both x plus 1 and x plus 2, the sequence is x, x plus 1, x plus 2. Which means we have a sequence now ending at x plus 2, right? So that's the sequence that we are going to define here. We are going to increment. Okay. And now, as I said, if, however, we didn't find the sequence at ending at x minus 1, and we didn't find 
x plus 1 and x plus 2. So we are in a case, let's say, here in with 1, 3, 4, 7, but we didn't find either 8 or 9. That means we immediately know that we have a sequence, subsequence that has a length less than 3, right? So we can immediately return false here. 4 and false would mean that it's not possible. Okay? So, um, yeah, there is a little bit of housekeeping and like initialization that we need to do, but this is the uh, crux of the solution that we are going to do here. So it's kind of m more like a, um, just listing all the cases we need to handle and seeing what um, what's the logic we need to implement for each case. Okay, so well, let's implement this. Make sure it pa and make sure it passes test cases. Um, okay, so let's write the code for the solution. So we need an occurrence map. So um, you can either in Python I'm going to use a counter, but in your language you can use like a you can decide to use a map and just go through the array and increment for each number, right? Increment by one. So it should be pretty easy to write. Um, and now we have a list a counter of numbers. And then we need to have the sequence here, so collections. Okay, so we'll create a map for, basically this will represent what I said, which is the sequence ending at x. So count of sequences or of sub subsequence ending at x, right? x would be like the sequence of of x like this. Um, so sequence of two would be how many subsequences end, at, end with two, right? Um, and now we need to go through the numbers, right? And then if we already processed the number, right? Um, let's say we had maybe uh, the array had like uh, one, three, three, and we already processed three um, enough times, then we need to uh, check here if it's equal to zero that means we are done we can just continue we are done with this element we can just go to the next one however if not then we need to because we are processing it we need to remove it um, now we need to do a, with the case analysis that we just did which is if x minus one there is a sequence at least one sequence subsequence that ends at x minus one that means we can add x to the end of that sequence Right? And what this would mean is now we have a sequence that ends at x and we no longer have a sequence that end at x minus 1, at least for this case. And so we need to decrement. This is for the case that I said where we have multiple, let's say 1, 3, 4 and 2, 3, 4. Then we want to decrement. Once we process for 1, 3, 4, we want to decrement by 1 just for that list. Okay, so now that we have that, we need to increase for the sequence, subsequence ending at x. And then here we need to check for x plus 1. So um, this means basically that we didn't find the subsequence um, ending at x. Right? So what this would mean is that we need to find x plus 1 in the array and x plus 2 for for us to have a valid subsequence. If we don't, that means we can return false. So let's just return false here if we don't. Um, and this would be checking that the occurrence of x plus 1 is bigger than 0 and then the occurrence of x plus 2 is also bigger than 0, right? Um, so if both x plus 1 and x plus 2 are there, that means we found a sequence here of x, x plus 1, x plus 2, which means we can we are going to use x plus 1, the sequence for x plus 1. We are going to use x plus 1 for this subsequence, so we decrement it. We are going to use x plus 2. But you can see now we have a subsequence ending at x plus 2. So let's mark that. We have a sequ sequence ending at x plus 2. Okay. And that should be it now. Um, if we go through all of them and we didn't find, um, we didn't find the case where it, it's false or we find found a subsequence that has a length less than three then we can return true okay so let's run this let's submit 
Okay, cool. So that passes test cases. Uh, one thing um, here, so in terms of time complexity, uh, we are doing just iterating over the number, the number of elements. So this means basically overall we have over time. In terms of space, we are using these two, right? And at most they are open, and so we have open space as well. Um, yeah, I think this that this is pretty much it for this problem. Um, yeah, pretty much a, a case analysis sort of problem. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye.